What's the story with the reading for the collective? I hope that you're feeling amazing. I really appreciate your positive energy. Let's see what the primary energy is. Four of Cups reverse. Nine of Cups reverse. Somebody could be feeling really um, unhappy with their life here. Um, really unhappy. Judgment under the deck. Queen of Wands reverse. Someone is either dealing with a feminine energy that's very, um, you know, jealous and aggressive and um, insecure, pushy, um, witchy. Someone could have aligned themselves with this person. They're very unhappy. Their dreams aren't coming true. They're, um, they're either feeling like life is passing them by or they wanted you to feel like that and it's not happening. They wanted you to feel rejected. Um, there could be some sort of substance use here as well. Queen of Wands Reverse came out again in the subconscious. So it's about how so what someone thinks about themselves or someone feels like their problems are all stemming from some sort of um, alignment with this person. Um, Seven of Swords Reverse in the recent past. Five of Pentacles. So some sort of lie, cheating, stealing has come to light. And whoever this is, is out in the cold now, or they've lost, lost everything because of a lie. Somebody directly correlates this with you. Uh, you're too intuitive, um, for whatever this attack plot plan was, is someone loves you. You're loving, um, it's something to do with your, the love in your life. You're this Empress energy. You're too, um, something's coming to light about who you are, and it's about how someone sees you. If somebody was lying about you, they're out in the cold now, and it's clear that somebody's been doing something underhanded to, you know, compete with you. Something could be going, yeah, secretly doing something underhanded. Um, someone in competition with you. I feel like it's this Queen of Wands reverse or, yeah. They were they were waiting for something and it's not coming in. Instead, what they're getting are these lies and it's just being, being you know, and this loss. Someone could be very depressed if they believe these lies or if they were hoping not to get exposed. There could be lunacy here as well with the moon. Um, there could be a group of people who... Um, are very judgmental, um, you know, that try to ostracize you here, or there's a group of people, um, yeah, that is like judgmental and dogmatic, or, you know, turning tradition on its head somehow has backfired for this group. This could also be somebody who's like a leader of an institution, um, yeah, and feeling like you win or you are being celebrated or will be celebrated, um, as this queen of cups, just a very sweet and kind person. Um, there's something about your character that is coming to light in a positive way with the High Priestess, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups coming out in the upright. You're, you're very well-rounded, you're very intuitive, very grounded, very giving, very nurturing. You have healthy boundaries, you're smart, you're perceptive, you're grounded, um, giving, wise, um, spiritual, probably quiet, um, and it's like, you didn't have to say much or you didn't have to take some type of like retali retaliatory action. It's just, you have been yourself. You've been focusing, focusing on improving yourself or being the best version of yourself. Um, and it's like actions speak louder than words and 
something here, you know, yeah, there's someone here who's been love bombing someone and it's like this truth is coming to light. Someone was trying to steal something. There's all this chaos. There could be some sort of, um, you know, financial loss connected to this or there's some sort of chaos or instability, mental instability even because someone has something under control. It's like it's everything is falling apart with this lie or the stealing in the recent past. Um, someone is very unhappy. Six of Swords reverse. Someone feels like they're going to be stuck in a drama for quite a while. Near future, Lovers reverse. Someone could be really focused on some type of a breakup maybe from the past or, or someone's going through a breakup or there's a couple that's not a good match. They're, you know, they're not seeing eye to eye or someone is not choosing someone. Um, this is a potentially a broken contract. Ace of cups reversed. There's no love here. Someone feels empty inside. They're under judgment. Very, very burdened, very, very burdensome in the near future. Um, the lens that someone's looking through came out sideways, Seven of Pentacles. Some kind of failure, feeling like inner conflict about whether to move forward or how to move forward or if somebody is moving forward with something or how to rework something. Um, but you're, you're very much a queen of swords. You have healthy boundaries. So it's like someone doesn't have access to you or they can't change how something is rebuilt um, or because of your your boundaries or what you'll say um, it's not possible to rework something or someone doesn't have access it's it's someone who's in competition or doing something in an underhanded way um, it's like you've overcome some type of regret or sadness and now it's just sort of like ice I almost feel like maybe this person needs to compromise or needs something from you or wants to return because they want to get out of a nightmare or they want to rework something, but you've overcome some type of heartache. So it's like fool me once, fool me twice. You know, the third time you're not going to get fooled again. Um, so someone feels really unsure about what exactly is going on with you or how to rework something if they're trying to still come come for you somehow they don't really know they don't really have an idea on on how they can do that or if they want to come towards you or fix it or compromise you know there's just no opening because of what's happened in the past ten of cups reverse in the environment so this this if this is a family uh, they're very unhappy and it's very clear that this isn't happily ever after in the environment. If this is some type of a group, um, they could be trying, they could be, this group could come across as like eerie or afraid, or there's some lunacy here, or they seem confused. Someone seems confused. This is not happily ever after. There's a queen of cups here though. How, how are you, how did you do this? Or, you know, um, somebody missed out on the love of their life. Someone who's got a beautiful heart. Um, yeah, somebody was doing something real petty or didn't put the work in and something is being made fair for you and someone's real unhappy or this group is very unhappy that have been connected to something someone that aligned themselves with this queen of wands reverse um are unhappy they're unhappy and everyone can see that there's some type of like they're either trying to hide hide that they're unhappy or there's some type of lunacy or fear connected to this ten of swords reverse um the other thing is that it could be very obvious that someone here or this group of people here are trying to block some type of happily ever after and trying to hide it, um, you know, but there's some type of very sweet love. Um, 
someone could be worried that you're going to receive this very sweet love um, or that there's this dreamy energy. Someone doesn't want you to um, overcome something. They don't want something to be made fair um, for you to get what you deserve. Um, outcome is strength reverse. So you've got somebody in their ego or they're unable to um, handle whatever this kind of feels like karma is playing out. Yeah, because judgment's under the deck. So this person or these people are under judgment. Let's see who this is. Um, first, let's look at the astrological cards. What do we need to know about these people? We have Moon in Cancer, Jupiter in Pisces, Mercury in Taurus, Moon in Aquarius, Mercury in Aquarius, Gemini, Saturn in Taurus, Mars in Pisces, Sun in Gemini, and Leo. Um, Cardinal. Okay, so I feel like someone here has a very brave and pioneering spirit. And that is coming, becoming more and more clear. Or there's somebody who's taking action with this pioneering spirit. Um, fire, confidence, optimism, passion, and bravery. So something about your bravery, we see bravery twice. Um, with Aquarius under the deck. So it's like you are... Um, It's interesting because you're you're like a queen of cups who's also very brave so it's like very sweet and brave but also very humanitarian and someone that thinks outside of the box it's like north node energy um and the, and that's what's driving you is this this vision or this goal and um you're taking action in spite of a lot of tomfoolery here. Um, it's, yeah, a brave pioneering spirit you, lighting your own match here. Um, like in the face of, in the face of like some very, you know, nasty behavior here, someone really trying to block, create blockages, block love, block support. I feel like there's something with this moon here, somebody trying to create fear in you. Uh, yeah, definitely someone trying to create fear so that it feels like, you know, there's gonna be some sort of retribution or uh, attack if you uh, live your life if, to the best of your ability, if you shine your light, if you take action, it's like, this feeling like, you know, it almost feels subconscious, like someone wants you to feel like um, troubles on the horizon or they're going to attack you if you shine, something like that. There could be a Sagittarius involved. This could have to do with um, exploration and freedom. So freedom and bravery, pioneering spirit, it's like in spite of However many people decide to line up in front of you or um, make you feel like something's impossible, um, you're you're moving forward anyway. You're, your light, it's like you're, you have a vision here and it's your, um, it's between you and the divine. There could be a Scorpio involved. Um, fire, there could be a fire sign involved. There could be an earth sign involved. So we basically have all the elements. House five, passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. House five is ruled by Leo. So heavy fire, um, taking action, heavy fire. Scorpio under the deck again, so. Heavy, heavy um, fire and um, Scorpio energy um, conjunction. So this is about emerging and coming together. 
So that could be what somebody's worried about is this, this confident move forward um, on your own, but then with help, there could be a Cancer involved as well. So heavy fire and water with this Aquarius energy as well. Um, house five, your expression, your pioneering spirit, your self-expression. House 11, friends, like-minded groups, more Aquarian energy. 11th house ruled by Aquarius. So this is about a pioneering spirit and it just feels like North Node. And this feels all about like your North Node here. House four as well. Cultural, family, roots, home, peace and comfort. I feel like this is Cancer. Um, and something about sextile, things coming together for you. And anybody that's been living in their South Node um, it feels like they're they're dealing with some very serious challenges. So this feels like North Node versus South Node. You know, somebody trying to want wanting you to act from your South Node. Join them <clears throat> in a South Node drama, an endless drama. Um, and there's some sort of temporary gain or comfort from living in the South Node. It's a comfort zone, and um, but it, there's more karma for staying there because it's the it's the dragon's tail um and you don't want to be in the tail you don't want to be in the bottom that's where you know <laughs> that's where things that have been processed um you know are left behind you know that's a release that you release the south node you go towards the north node and you try to get there in the clearest, quickest way possible in this lifetime, because that's where you're meant to go. And um, so that's the pioneering spirit. I feel like your courage, it's all about your courage to get to this, you know, vision, to, to meet yourself in, on this vision um, in spite of this kind of south node energy trying to pull you back or down or block you or make you fear, feel insecure or fearful or, you know, doubtful, um, unsupported, incapable, um, yeah, and I feel like there's like multiple, there's... It, it definitely is stemming from this Queen of Wands reverse. So yeah, it's like... Not necessarily knowing exactly... How, but doing it anyway. Taking the steps, believing in yourself. Um, and it, it feels like it's... It's something is forming because of because of this stance, you know. Something is sort of forming in a very positive way, and it feels like there's union connected to it as well. Um, good on you. Someone here could have been. This could have been a friend that gave away their power. It stopped supporting you or went, went into their south node or went into agreement with a group of people um, or, you know, became jealous or started working against you, child magical, like you really believe in the, in the impossible, you believe in miracles, you believe in, um, you know, it, it's optimism, it's glass half full. You know, if there's, if there's a chance that something could uh, turn out terribly, there's also a chance that something could turn out and, and, you know, incredibly beautiful, better than you could ever imagine it as well. Um, somebody here martyred themselves for a cause for no reason, or they wanted you to martyr yourself. That's right. They wanted you to dim your light and martyr yourself. There could be a masculine energy, a father figure here. Right. 
And that's the pioneering spirit is to, you know, shine your light, even if there's pushback, even if people um, make you feel or want to make you feel unloved or like you're doing something wrong um, by taking the steps to self-actualize and to shine your light and, you know, to get up every time because that's part of it. You know, if it's like someone wanting to train you to uh, go into agreement with some sort of false view of yourself or, you know, feel like you're, you're bad for bad or stupid or um, naive uh, for believing in, in, in a vision and pursuing it, um, wanting you to go in agreement with some type of negativity, um, you know, like punishment, like you're going to get punished for, um, building and believing and, um, being optimistic and happy and, um, fulfilling a big picture vision. Um, and you won't dim, dim your light. Yeah. It's like trying to make you feel like you're, you're wrong or like you, and it's very insidious. It's subtle. That's that five of wands reverse where it's like, you don't even really know where it's coming from. It could even be, you know, because everybody has that imposter syndrome where I think everyone can get imposter syndrome without all of this pushback where it's like, things start working out and you're unsure if you're the right one to fulfill some role. Um, and it comes from inside. It doesn't come from others, but then you add others, you know, and, um, you know, someone wanting you to feel like it's easier to go into agreement and live, um, small, smaller, you know, than you feel like your personal goals are or to, gaslight you into thinking that somehow you've done something wrong. You know, it's, there's like definitely a punishing energy here. Um, scribe. Yeah. There's someone here that could be a writer or you, you could be a writer. Um, or that something about the, the written word is very integral to, you know, what you do. If it's not creative writing, it could be, you know, a business plan or something to do with, um, correspondence. Um, the way you reach out, the way you, you speak, um, your voice through the written word, you know, maybe songwriting, some sort of creative writing, journalism, um, self-help books, um, you know, tarot, oracle card creation, um, it is like, you could be a historian, Anything that you do that you, where the written word is important with this detective here, detective and scribe, you definitely could be some type of like a journalist, you know, um, social, social equity, something like that. This could also have to do with um, somebody digging for dirt trying to find out what it is that you're writing or somebody's been, you know, this could also be text messages, emails, you know, somebody wrote something here. Um, there's definitely some a voyeuristic energy that also added or has been add, adding to this where it's like a sense that, you know, there's eyes on you, like, you know, a very uncanny feeling. Um, but you're not this child wounded. Someone's mother could be involved here. And there's some sort of um, chivalrous energy from a masculine energy as well. Someone was trying to play God in your life. Someone here could be a mentor or could have been a mentor figure in your life. Um, You know, you could be a writer and, and this is a mentor, um, Messiah, 
something about maybe what you're you're writing or um, you know um, something to do with serving humanity with humility what you're preserving knowledge and information it's information information serving humanity with humility it could be you delivering information as well with humility it's for humanity that's that north node aquarian energy definitely someone could be a mother figure here um there could be also an aspect of you nurturing others but someone here could also be in the shadow attributes of this mother energy and so it's basically you know someone smothering you feeling smothered by someone you're this angelic energy um i feel like somebody read you wrong or felt like they could attack you because of like a gentleness that you have somebody really trying to work against you or prove that you're not this healer or this child divine definitely somebody who's like an energy draining you know vampire here that is very voyeuristic has been very voyeuristic someone that hasn't been able to sabotage you though so i do feel like there's also been like if you feel this person has felt like if they could drain you or distract you um that you wouldn't have enough energy to you know move in this brave way forward and i feel like that's what the seven of pentacles is it's definitely it feels like somebody tried to sabotage something you're doing um but that you've moved forward with a pioneering spirit anyway and somebody felt like they could kind of bully you out you know bully you there's something about your um, your courage that's really important here. And it's not courage to fight back. That's not what it is. It's courage to move forward in spite of, you know, this energy. Um, but there's no victimhood here because victimhood means that you're um, centered around, you know, your focus is on what someone's done to you. And you can't move forward that way. Or what someone's trying to do it's all very subtle it's all very subtle because you know that that could be a very natural incl inclination for anyone to feel like you know from time to time you know why is this happening i wish this person would go away i wish this would stop or where's the support or why this feels unnatural all those things are, are normal but what I'm talking about is staying in that energy. But there's definitely this warrior spirit where somebody felt like they could bully someone who's very angelic. And I feel like someone here, this energy vampire, felt more powerful than you. I feel like they're losing that stance. It's like they didn't want anyone to advocate for you or this is someone that you felt like was an advocate at some point or should have advocated for you and didn't. Um, or you were advocating for this person. Um, and I feel like they could have turned on you. Um, this could be someone very dogmatic, addicted to doing something here. It feels like judgment, wanting you to be judged. There could be also a masculine energy here who not operating out of any type of chivalrous energy, um, you know, allowing themselves to be dragged into this kind of like a petty it's a petty feminine energy not to say that men can't be that way or masculine energies can't be that way but this is like somebody who would have rather somebody didn't didn't support you or wasn't thinking clearly you know uh, a masculine energy involved here or someone felt like because you didn't have this protection of masculine energy around you that they could come for you. Um, someone wanted you to be judged. Someone was doing something behind the scenes. Someone could have been using contracts, legalities, lawyers, uh, the, the justice system against you. It, that also didn't work. Um, someone could have been very childish here. Someone could have mistook your um, 
kind of playful spirit as, you know, weakness or, um, yeah. I do feel like there's someone here that's on your side, though. Um, and there's someone else here that, a masculine energy that was kind of joined with this pettiness. This has to do with a network of people, your network of people. Somebody gossiping, spreading a lot of gossip. Trying to really, you know, block your light and the way you manifest the with this playful energy. Really trying to block it. Definitely somebody, uh, feminine energy here, overly attached to money and power. Yeah, I just heard it saying, you could be an artist. Um, there's something about you really having this, I feel like someone wanted to knock you down a pig because it seemed like because of your strength or because it's like things working out for you or how you would manage to do something. There's some sort of like leadership in your energy that somebody was, you know, fooling around here trying to take you down. Yeah. Um, so I think this could be some type of like a colleague, um, frenemy or group of friends. Um, but I also, maybe someone has like a counterpart that, you know, if this is like a frenemy, um, they could have a counterpart that participated, you know, participated in like feminine jealousy, you know, was not thinking logically, not leading the way, not that feminine energies can't lead the way, but I feel like there's like a intrinsic kind of very specific jealousy, feminine to feminine energy that a masculine energy participated in that it's, it's just feels weak or unnatural. Um, so there's that. And I feel like there could, there could be something about an ex here as well that somebody felt like because you didn't have the support and I don't know if they're connected. Um, I feel like there's more, there's definitely a group here though. So these could be separate people in your life that don't know each other or they do know each other with that mother figure card too, as well, like a lack of support. Someone here could have tried to take advantage of the fact that, you know, there's, there wasn't a masculine energy there supporting you. Um, and maybe like a lack of like parental support or, um, guidance or, you know, just really out here on your own, um, kind of making, making, you know, manifesting beautiful things and somebody here that was supposed to help or be on your side or a friendship, you know, someone that you thought was a true connection potentially. Um, you know, work, deciding to work against you and make you feel afraid or, um, you know, talk about you, gossip about you. Um, yeah, stop something that you're doing that is serves others, but you continue to move forward in spite of this person. And I feel like they've been lying or they stole something from you. Now they feel out in the cold that this is the recent past. Mentor scribe. They don't know what you're doing exactly, but I feel like There's some sort of judgment here. This person's under judgment and they're definitely in their ego with this ace of wands. There's something about like blocked energy, um, not being, being uninspired. You could have inspired this person or these people and you seem to have moved forward very independently. And that seems to be clear. I feel like these people don't know exactly what you're doing. I feel like that's where the voyeurism is coming from. There could be an ex involved here as well. Um, what's the overall takeaway here? Snake. Um, talk behind your back. 
hypocrisy, lies, pretense. So this is a snake. This is a snake in the grass. This is a person that was a snake here. Someone that, that gossiped about you and talked about you behind your back. Someone who's very hypocritical. So, someone that was supposed to be on your side talking about you behind your back. Really working against you and wanting you to feel afraid and, and doubt yourself. And I feel like they stole something from you or they lied about you. Flower. Snake flower. And forced to act by other. And forced to act by other. So having some type of, this person felt invincible somehow. Or they were trying to get a rise out of you. Or trying to force you to engage because they stole something or were lying about you. Um, or they um, had some sort of position of power in the situation. They took advantage of it. Or they um, rallied a group of flying monkeys here as well. Because this is like gossip. Um, or so I by other. This person could have been given some type of um, position of power. Or... Or they involved themselves with a group of people here um, and felt pretty invincible. So somebody lying about you and feeling very invincible while they were doing it. Like, um, yeah, enforced act by other. And that's also where this other masculine energy keeps coming in, where if someone had some type of um, relationship where they felt stable or you know, even a little bit spoiled um, by a situation where, you know, it's like you were easy to attack because you were very independent, you know, very much on your own doing something. And it's like they saw an opportunity. They saw a small window where they could attack you or lie or take something for you or block you or stop you with this thing that you're serving humanity with humility you know, a pioneering, pioneering spirit. It feels like very positive energy and somebody taking the opportunity to ten of swords to stab you in the back and betray you, to lie about you and steal something from you and feeling very um, invincible and wanting you to martyr yourself and give in and give up on something here. And I feel like this person felt really invincible while they were doing it. And this was somebody that was supposed to be on your side. Um, friendship. Submission. It's like someone gave away their power, though. And now I think it's like the dust is settling. It's not you that gave away your power. This person gave away their power by doing this. Somebody wanted you to go into a cage and not sing and not fly. Um, and I feel like that's also what's being made clear is that somebody was trying to trap you in this, you know, no movement, don't move, stay stuck, don't sing, don't fly. I feel like that's what's being made clear here. And it could be psychological spiritual, you know, it's, it's very subtle and insidious, you know, feeling afraid to move or something that someone was doing here, trying to make you, cause they were gossiping about you too. It's like, maybe you didn't know which way to go or they were hoping that you would be stuck or that, you know, it's like this person was like watching you all the time, or maybe someone trying to block your flow. Even something could be coming out about this person. Um, or there's something that you're doing that's, you know, going to get some sort of attention or something they were doing here that's going to get some sort of attention that something they were doing is not elevated. It's not, it's not supported. It's not lovely. It's not beautiful. With that Ace of Wands reverse, 
it's missing some type of, um, I feel like maybe this person tried to steal something from you and take off instead of you. Block, knock you off your square, replace you. Someone here has a choice. Something is being made fair. Four of Cups reversed, you're not rejected. This, there's some sort of news or something that someone doesn't, they wanna know what the news is or they wanna hide the news, hide the information or they don't have the information. Friendship reversed, this person ruined a friendship with you and now they're not happy. There's some sort of, it's like, I feel like they can't, they don't know what you're doing. Now it's like the dust is settling, the illusion is broken, or whatever they was driving them here to, you know, this hate, I feel like it's hate and jealousy. Wanting you to feel small, I feel like this is somebody that, you know, was a friend or a colleague, or there was some type of like, something that on the surface seemed like a healthy exchange. And somebody, you know, took the opportunity when they saw it to attack or steal or lie or cheat cheat you out of something you know definitely try to knock you down weaken you stop you from singing stop you from flying and they severed a relationship here with you i feel like this person felt seduced by some kind of financial gain here too, feeling like, or that they could maybe um, take your spot somehow, or, you know, they're take advantage of a social circumstance. Um, this person was not listening to their intuition. Definitely about you with this endurance here. So we saw that warrior reverse. So it's like someone felt like you were an easy takedown or something like that. And not listening to their intuition is also like observing who you are as a person, understanding, you know, who you are historically as well. Because I feel like this person or these people or this, this friend, this friendship group, Whoever this is was not observing how um, how you arrived where you did when they met you, or something like that. There, there's there was clear signs that you care you carry your own weight. You carry your own weight. That things weren't just falling into your lap, and you were just sort of this naive recipient of you know luck. And also, yeah, I feel like this person felt like they could tired you out, tire you out, or something like that. Um, there's something about um, achievement with a couple or a couple achieving something here that they had their eye on. Maybe you were had achieved something when you were with someone, and they. You weren't with this person and they felt like you were weak now, uh, an easy takedown, no support, or or they were in a relationship with someone and um, this couple was all about trying to achieve something off of your back, maybe. Queen of Wands reverse in the subconscious. Um, this person could be trying to hide something about their own jealousy or the, the very witchy energy or they, they, there's something about another feminine energy here that um, this person can't process. Um, Queen of Wands reverse. It has to do with some sort of drama around someone being generous with you, someone being very jealous, jealous and, and witchy because someone causing a drama because of someone being generous with you or you being a very generous person, someone causing a drama with a very generous person. And it's something about themselves, either being very witchy and jealous, someone not listening to their intuition, um, 
maybe somebody noticed something here about someone else that was in this energy towards you and they took advantage or thought that they could get a step up, a leg up and not, not paying attention to, not listening to their intuition about this um, situation that, you know, you're in something for the long run and whatever this is, if, if they felt like you were getting attacked elsewhere, I feel like someone took it, tried to take advantage. Yeah, there's some sort of like a party scene or um, someone not wanting something to get discovered or this party scene trying to block you from getting discovered or stop something from getting discovered about you or what you're doing or creating or innovating. But there's some sort of harmony here connected to your inheritance that doesn't match with this group of people, this friendship group that's all falling apart, that maybe now they're not getting the attention they, they thought they were going to get. Now they feel like they've got to be very careful because of what they did. It, everything was all about status. Um, they, they know that there's something going on here where they felt like they could get a leg up maybe with this other group or because of a group, or that they could, you know, they knew that there was some sort of hate train here, that they could join with the hate train to, I don't know, advance themselves. They can't face some, something here, though, because it's like they, they thought that this group, there was a position of power, that maybe they were going to gain something here from this hate train, this party scene. Um... And, and now that hate train is collapsing in on itself and they don't have support from this group either. And there's something that they did or participated in that's, um, they don't want to be found out. Or they don't want to be seen as part of this group or something like that. Or now that they, now it's deep down though, it's some sort of like instinct or intuition about some other group here that they thought they were going to benefit from some someone that was trying to weaken you or work against you or they thought you were on the outside um and that's falling apart and now what are they going to do and they don't have this inspiration because they you know they showed their true colors for sure they made it very clear very very clear um they didn't care. They thought that you were down and out and that this would never come back. They thought this was their leg up and they took it and they made it very clear. They lied, cheat, stole. Now they're out in the cold in their recent past. Um, yeah, they have no protection from what they did in the recent past. Something was all for status. Um, status and money and some sort of glamorous lifestyle. Um, there's something about you being in, in, in harmony though. It's that is like turning something. It's there's something about your defense is your harmony or your harmony is your defense. It's something about you not being in a fight with someone, some sort of lie. You're not in the middle of any kind of fight with anyone. Yeah. The, earlier in the read, there was something about Someone not living, listening to their intuition about this. Someone, maybe the fact that you weren't fighting back, someone felt like there was some sort of victory in this. Or they, the way, you know, the, the way they thought you weren't fighting back, they thought they, you know, silenced you or stopped you or blocked you with these lies with, or they stole something. They thought they were protected maybe by this group or that, you know, or they, they can't protect themselves from the lie or what they stole. Now they're out in the cold. Um, Six of Swords reverse. They, they know a drama's coming they're not going to be able to get out of. Someone that stole something and lied about you. It's very voyeuristic. Six of Swords reverse. It has to do with some sort of seductive energy. They shouldn't have criticized you. They they feel seduced by something, by a lie. They shouldn't have participated in this lie. Now, now they're going to be stuck. 
You have too much patience for something. There's definitely something very big here about your endurance. This, this athlete. Development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. It's your strength of spirit. They shouldn't have criticized you. There's some sort of extreme information here that they don't want to come. It's something to do with you being harmonious, you being a harmonious person. That is your defense. And your, you not being in your ego. It's something about maybe the way you've handled something, but it's also your endurance. It's your strength of spirit. It's your generosity. It's the fact that you weren't fighting with someone. There's some sort of details. Details being clarified about the situation. Lovers reverse in the near future. There's some type of a broken contract. Uh, someone did something very... The patience. There's something again about your patience. It's you're in something for the long haul and lies travel quickly, but the truth endures. It's something about your endurance or you, um, you outlasting a lie, you outlasting this, this thievery, um, sort of temporary gain that somebody wasn't listening to their intuition. They participated in a lie or they started a lie or they stole something from you and it now it's it all seems so silly because why what were they ever thinking you know if this was a friend why would a friend do do that you know that is not yeah so they lost a friend i feel like there this was a friendship it's like someone thought you weren't worthy or they it's like somebody they're not happy now they're not happy at all. And there could be some sort of addictive pattern this person is in as well. They were addicted to doing something and it's like an illusion is broken and they, they broke a friendship with you. There was lies here. Um, they don't want some sort of information to get out or they were trying to block something here having to do with your communication. They wanted you to be quiet or go into a cage they were going to gain something instead of you. They thought they had the world in their hands is what it feels like. And, uh, but it's like, whatever this, I feel like there was something that, um, you're doing, you were doing. If this person would have maintained their integrity, they, they would have a friend for one and also this ace of wands this you know this pure spirit this you know kind of drive to create something from this divine spark and that is yours and now they forfeited it they forfeited this you know i feel like you were a light in this person's life and i feel like there was some exchange here that you were i feel like maybe you loved this person but it was something about not belonging, not being, you know, very enthusiastic about you not being part of a group. Some sort of very vengeful energy. And I feel like this was someone that you thought was a friend. Yeah, there's something to do with business. This person took the first chance. They, they showed you who they are. They took the first chance they could to replace you, knock you off your square. They saw a weak, weak point and they wanted to shut you down and replace you instead of you. They did felt, I feel like this person felt like you didn't deserve something and that maybe something was fell into your lap. And there seems to be some sort of promise here of like, you know, they feel seduced into something here. They feel, they felt promised something. Um, but you outlasted some silly some silly conclusion of who you are or how you got where you you were or where you were going or what you were capable of or that you wouldn't 
you wouldn't keep going, that you wouldn't find a, a new way, that you wouldn't, um, you know, once this dies down, that, you know, the truth endures and that, you know, you're dedicated to something and you always have been. So whatever this temporary thing is, you know, in relation to your whole life, it, it is temporary. So someone, I feel like they did, they caused issues, you know, and if someone stole something or they lied about you, you know, to your detriment, you know, you, you now know who this person is. Um, there's some type of a breakup here. They were trying to kick you out or leave you out, or they were like really enthusiastic about you not being part of something, about you not being seen, um, about you not having influence, and I feel like that's all backfiring. There's something about charity here, about you being very generous. I feel like something being given back to you so that you can continue what it is that you were doing, which makes this whole thing even more um, just awful because I feel like whatever it is that you were doing here, it's for others. And there, I feel like there's you're very generous. I feel like that is also embarrassing. That's part partially what this drama is about. Um, you're, you're, you, you are not fighting with anyone and you are very generous and you're, you're a queen of cups. You're very sweet. I'm not saying you're perfect. Not saying you don't get angry. I'm not saying you always make the right choices, but your default is a queen of cups. Everybody has a shadow side. Everybody has an ego to contend with. Everybody has childhood programming. Everybody has, you know, a shadow side to contend with, but your default is a queen of cups and you're very generous. That's your default. And whatever this north node is, what you're, you're working towards is for others. So that's embarrassing. That's very embarrassing. Someone here like took a chance to knock you off your square. This feels very emotionally violent as well. Mean spirited, ugly, cruel. Um, somebody really showed you their dark side, um, and it was all for some type of lifestyle. Someone took, they made the choice. They thought something through that this was not an accident. They were criticizing you, putting you down. They made the choice to criticize you for some type of luxurious lifestyle. They were trying to get to a destination at your expense. They took the opportunity, you know, to stand on your, your neck, you know, to use your neck as a step stool. And what's embarrassing is they don't have the spark that was yours in the first place. And whatever the spark is, is here to serve others and you weren't fighting, and there's lies here that are exposed that they also spread lies about you and they stole something as well that's meant for others. And you were never in any kind of a fight with this person. The goal is whatever this North Node is, vision. Yeah, you weren't fighting with any of these people. I feel like it's all coming out. It was all like, some type of strange distraction from the goal. These people are, this person could be in bad health. This person could be in bad health about the fact that you were not fighting with them. You didn't ever fight back. You let it be, you let it be, you let this run its course. And I felt like this person felt like they were outlasting you or there's something about the fact that you weren't like in some type of a rage or you didn't create a drama or you didn't try to out out what they were doing you you know with this business you didn't try to you didn't get engaged in some sort of draining battle with this person and you didn't try to fight some type of rumor mill or smear campaign you yeah and i also feel like you know because of that you didn't create more karma this person was creating karma, so you didn't add to karma. So that clears clears up your path. 
yeah, there's some sort of an organization that's falling apart or it's unorganized, whatever they were trying to do here. It's just bad mental health, bad physical health. There could be some type of a breakup or a broken contract and it's all kind of coming to a head. You know, it's like the universe is more intelligent than any, any kind of revenge that we could get anyway. And I feel like there's some type of poetic justice, you know, it's a broken contract or a couple is breaking up or something, somebody making some sort of impulsive move towards someone who's very patient, something coming up or coming out, or because of your patience, something is revealing itself or getting exposed. Some sort of manipulation isn't working, didn't work. It just, you know, lies travel quickly, but the truth endures. There's something unfolding in a very clear way here. Someone shouldn't have criticized you. This could have to do with a romance as well. Support. Some sort of news maybe coming out or someone feels like they chose the wrong side or they felt like something was permanent and like you were, you were done and out and now they could step on your neck is what it feels like. So they could get ahead and they were enthusiastic about it. Seven of Pentacles reversed. They don't know how to rework something. They broke their friendship with you. Um, they don't know what you're working on. They can't get in to, you know, figure something out. Yeah, it's something to do with what you're building that's unique and different with this eccentricity card. It almost works out in your, your or it does, it works out in your favor, this just staying in your own lane. Yeah, there's some sort of a friendship group that it's like it's all falling apart, something that's very um, superficial here and catty. Um, you know, it's like if you want to fit in to get in or something like that, you know, that's what they were in that stance. Something was a bad gamble with this group of people, this whole group of people uh, that were trying to get, get, get somewhere fast, cut corners to get ahead, to live some sort of luxurious lifestyle, be glamorous, be on top, some sort of like gamble here, a bad gamble. And it's like you stayed true to whatever this vision is. You didn't worry about what these people were saying and doing about like maybe some sort of also temporary gain that maybe, you know, made the world look a real, real funny for a bit there, you know, because you could see what they were doing. I feel like there was some sort of temporary gain here, but it's like, it was a, it's a trap. It was a trap. They got seduced by their own ego. And, and your harmony is your defense, meaning Sun in Libra, something coming to light about relationship or, or balancing out, balancing of the scales, or you could be a Libra. And that is partially, you know, that, that is it, or there's a Libra involved, or it's something about the, the way that you, you might have receipts or it's, harmony that you living in harmoniously it and it's just sort of all falling apart these lies and the destructive intentions versus this harmonious approach maybe that's what it is but it all has to do with you approaching this north node energy with a harmonious in intent or energy or that you just want harmony or that that is becoming made clear that you're very generous or there's some sort of generosity coming your way. Um, and there's, it, these lies are being, you know, the lies are falling apart. It's something to do with someone trying to stop or block you or someone trying to get information on you or try to hide some sort of information. Um, there could be, there could also be something about a new relationship and some type of like, negotiation or contract coming through a love relationship or romance here, some sort of harmony or someone's defending you, something is exalted, something that you're doing or some relationship or something like that, the harmony in your life, 
is like breaking apart or blowing apart this chaos, this ill will, these lies, this thievery, and it leads to this fulfillment or it's almost like your harmony is your defense, meaning you didn't quarrel, you didn't fight, you didn't try to take something back, you lived harmoniously and you're building abundance from a place of love and joy. And if you don't fit in, that's fine. You, it's Instead of focusing on these people, focusing on what's wrong, you're focusing on what's right. Um, and maybe it's like your actions speak louder than words or someone's coming towards you because of the harmonious energy you exhibit or that you're living in or it's energetic. You know, again, you're not building karma from fighting, quarreling. It's like the, the negative energy is they have to live what they projected and the fact that you didn't get entangled maybe you've like done your best to practice forgiveness you know and see these people from the best you can from from god's perspective you know to embody christ consciousness you know turn the other cheek you know try to forgive them see them as children see them as you know confused see them as lost you know to try to Forgive them from a distance. You might have done that for yourself to let go so that you don't have a heavy heart. Because to get into heaven, you need heart as light as a feather. Or to be able to feel, you know, clean under, you know, di divine light. Holding grudges and hatred weighs you down. And then you feel shame under God's light. And then you turn yourself away. Um, Ten of Cups Reverse. These people don't seem very happy because there's some sort of romance in your life or romance coming your way. Someone can't get revenge. I feel like these are other people here. They're trying to hide some sort of revenge they were trying to get. Trying to draw others in. Something was a bad gamble. Um, some sort of enterprise is falling apart here. Um, so if this is a friend. I don't know how they're connected to this group or if they, they are. There's something about you moving forward with love or there's someone coming towards you with this loving energy and it's connected also to business. Um, somebody who's resisting this party scene or this like someone trying to seduce someone into some false kind of situation they're not getting discovered the way they want there's some type of ego crushed ego here they're not invited or involved in some group they thought they were going to get something and there's really no way to rebel from whatever's happening here something was completely impractical and they're facing a loss there's a whole group involved here i don't know if they're connected or not but it's also like not having a happily ever after while this romance is blooming in your life or someone's coming towards you with this romantic energy or that's the, the energy that you're in. There's something about your har harmony that is like creating a, a love, <laughs> like a love bubble around you. Um, you know, you open to this love or you're, you're in something or you're holding this love energy. Something about your harmony is your defense. Um, That is your defense. It's that love, loving energy. It's your heart chakra. Because love is the highest vibration of the universe. The strongest. Ten of Swords Reverse. Someone doesn't want to get... They don't want to hit rock bottom like what they tried, you know, to do to you. I feel like they don't want to be found out. I think that they're unsure of what they've done and where, you're, where you stand and what's coming next. I feel like they don't want people to know what they did. They don't want some sort of news to come out. They don't want information, the details to come out. I feel like someone thought you were down and out for good. They don't want you to have the support. They're worried about some sort of support as well because they attacked you. They felt like you were alone. Um, yeah, empathy reverse. They act without empathy. They're afraid of karma. They're afraid of being found out what they did. Also because something here is for others as well. Attacking a Queen of Cups who's doing something for others that's very unique and innovative. 
isn't, you know, now they feel like they've got to be really careful. Um, yeah, they didn't listen to their intuition about you. They got drawn into something here. Um, now, now they're isolated and a choice they made with a group or some sort of situation that's falling apart and they want to hold on to what their participation is. They're afraid of some sort of details coming out. They want to know what your stance is, what you're going to do, what you're going to say, something like that, or what you're working on or what you're building or who you're, you're, you're uh, aligning with or something like that or who you're with romantically or if someone's coming towards you romantically. There's definitely something about the fact that you were never, you didn't start any kind of a battle. Um, there could be some breakup that this person's going through as well, or they're, they're, in, they're in contact with a couple here that's breaking up or something like that, and they were drawing their strength from some sort of affiliation here or drawing their strength from the idea that someone from your past left you and um, colla was collaborating with this group they felt like you were on the outside um, and that you were isolated. Now they're feel, feeling isolated because of what they've done. They made their stance really clear with a wide group of people. So, because they gossiped. So everyone knows what they said and what their stance was and whose side they were on and what they were trying to do. There's detail they're trying to block. They also feel like there could be some sort of strength a financial strength regarding your situation. Um, if this person tried to out lawyer you or, you know, um, you know, felt stronger than you because of some sort of financial situation that they were in, they also feel like they've got to be careful. It could have to do with status or money, some sort of situation that's unfolding in your life, but they don't have the details. But there's also something that they can't copy or steal. If they try to steal something and make it you know, like it was yours, something is very clearly yours because of the detail or the uniqueness of something here. The um, outcome is strength reversed. They're going to be in their ego about how this unfolds or they might not have the strength to deal with some type of, um, you know, clarity around their participation, the details coming out. They might not be able to handle what they, you know, they dished it out, but they can't take it. Um, it has something to do with this defense this harmony, strength reverse. It, it's something they're not going to be able to handle something here. Manipulation reverse under the deck. Some sort of manipulation here isn't working. They didn't have a vision. They didn't see something. They didn't follow their intuition regarding you and the situation. They missed something. They missed big details. If they were involved with another group here, they 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 missed a big piece of who you are and the bigger picture here um, and about who you were to them as well and your inheritance and what your inheritance means. The bigger picture about what you're building. Yeah. Wow. They're under judgment. If you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.